This video tutorial follows on from the previous Introduction to Multiple States sampling video and focuses on the configuration of MagStim stimulators for use in TMS recordings. When the Multiple Frame States checkbox is enabled in the General tab of the sampling configuration and Dynamic Outputs mode is selected in the States tab, the MagStim button allows the user to configure settings for MagStim 200, BiStim or Rapid devices. Control of supported MagStim devices is achieved using the Auxiliary States module in Signal. The option of including Auxiliary States device support is given during Signal installation. For this example, we will consider an experiment requiring two different stimuli, one at a low power intensity and one at a high power intensity. Setting the number of extra states field to 2, as in this example, will allow you to set up two additional stimulus settings in the MagStim configuration. In this case, we use one for 20% intensity and one for 70% intensity. An overview of the state settings can be found in the Introduction to Multiple States sampling video tutorial on our website. Click on the MagStim button to configure the type of MagStim to use and a COM port for communication with the unit. The list of states in use is displayed and can be edited by clicking on them in the list and then changing the settings in the dialog. Depending on the type of MagStim selected, you will be able to change power intensity number of pulses, and pulse intervals. This configuration shows the available settings for a single MagStim 200 device. Power settings for each control state can be edited by clicking the state number in the displayed list. State 0 can be set to give manual control of the MagStim device. The Copy to All and Copy Above options are useful for setting up many states quickly. Copy to All copies the currently selected state settings to all other states. Copy Above copies the current state's settings to all higher state numbers. The Test button tests if communications with the MagStim can be established. The Dual MagStim 200 option has the same settings as described here, but requires two COM ports, one for each 200 unit. BiStim units are comprised of two synchronized stimulators which can be used to deliver dual stimulus pulses. Normally, the first pulse is delivered at the time of the external trigger and the second at a preset interval after the trigger, which can be set in the state settings of the MagStim configuration as shown. Setting an interval of zero switches the BiStim into simultaneous pulse mode. In this mode, both stimulators must use the same power level, which is taken as being the main power setting in the configuration, with the power B setting ignored. The Use High Res Timing Mode option can be used to set interval values between 0 and 999 milliseconds in steps of 0.1 of a millisecond. It is possible to use two digital output pulses to trigger both the first power and second power B stimulus. To use this method, the BiStim unit must be set to use independent trigger mode or IBT mode. See your BiStim user manual for details. When IBT mode has been set on the BiStim unit, the BiStim in independent trigger mode checkbox also needs to be selected in signal. This mode requires separate digital output connections from the 1401 to each of the synchronized units in the BiStim device. MagStim Rapid devices are capable of producing a train of stimulus pulses at high rates. The Rapid may have a separate control system that has to be disconnected to gain access to the serial line control port for connection to a PC. See your Rapid device documentation for more details. You can set the intensity, number and frequency of pulses in the settings section of the configuration. There is also a checkbox option to use single pulse mode, which allows you to set power levels up to 110%.
If this option is selected, the Rapid produces one stimulus pulse per trigger, ignoring the pulse train parameters. The Ignore Coil Interlock Switch option disables the switch on the MagStim coil handle so that the device will fire in response to triggers without the button being depressed. MagStim do not recommend bypassing the switch as this is a safety feature which should not be bypassed unless absolutely necessary. Rapid devices with the latest version 9 firmware require an unlock code available from MagStim as an additional safety precaution. Once we've set up our MagStim configuration for our selected device, the final requirement is to set up pulse outputs for each state that can be used to trigger the MagStim to deliver the stimulus for the given state. Pulse outputs are created in the Outputs tab of the sampling configuration. This section contains settings for enabling and disabling digital and DAC outputs. For this example of MagStim control, we are only interested in using one digital output. If using a BiStim in independent trigger mode, you would need to enable two digital outputs one to trigger each of the units of the BiStim. Click on Configure Pulses to open the Graphical Pulse Editor. In our example configuration, the basic zero state is left blank, as this is going to be our manual control state with no output triggers. State 1 and State 2 each have a trigger pulse set at 10 milliseconds. This will trigger the MagStim at 10 milliseconds into the sampled sweep and generate a pulse at 20% intensity for state 1 and 70% intensity for state 2 as specified in the MagStim configuration. I hope you have found this tutorial on MagStim configuration useful. Full details can also be found in the Signal Online Help.